Welcome to Cartagena, Port of Culture. First populated in 227 BC, it was important to the Romans and from the 16th century it was a very important Spanish naval port. The world's first submarine, which went to sea in 1888, is a big feature of the Naval Museum. There are even more interesting exhibits in this museum here. With its military and naval past, the castle and the Naval Museum are the two big features of Cartagena. The hop-on hop-off bus is a good way to see Cartagena, or there's a trolley train. Between the port and the Naval Museum is Heroes Square. City Hall is a very impressive building. Cartagena is continually being excavated. The amphitheatre was only discovered by accident in 1980. Plaza del Toros is a ball ring built in 1854 and it looks like it's being renovated. You don't need to wear a Fitbit to know you've done a few steps here. The Castle of Conception is a 13th century castle. When you get to the top, you can buy a ticket for €3.75 and go and visit the rooms and museums inside the castle. These well-kept gardens make a lovely morning stroll. Last time we came to Cartagena, we took the Segway, which is a much easier way of going up and down. The grounds of the castle and the park are free to roam around and from here you get a breathtaking view of the amphitheatre and you can see how it could have been buried in the side of the mountain. We've arrived at Troy, it's about five minutes away from the museum in the coach. The important positioning of the land of Troy meant that it was occupied for over 3,000 years. So there was Troy 1, Troy 2, right up to Troy 9, and they're all standing on top of each other. No one knows what they were actually called, but archaeologists have labelled them that. Kind of killing heat here in, you know, real hot summer. There's two ships in split today, the MSC Symphonia and the PNO Azura. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Guess where we are? We're in Split. And if you want to pick up the free walking tour, it's up here. So we found the free spirit walking tour. Free. You just give a tip at the end. So this massive statue behind me is Gregory of Nîmes, and you're supposed to rub his toe for luck. The special thing about this palace is that people actually live here and have been for about 1,500 years. This area is the killing zone. We saw it in Troy. These substructures or basements were where they filmed the places where the dragons were kept in Game of Thrones. 